Big Red Bitch King of the City, man. We on Taco Talk TV. Taco Talks 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 TV. Young Jose. Rest in peace to swiping YC. Taco Talks TV. Hell yeah. What about this coronavirus shit? Faith all the way. <laughs> that shit fool. That shit fool on the yeah. You you know anybody who who even got tested or had this? Yeah. My uncle actually even passed away from that. Rest in peace, Uncle Mike. Right. But I just I just in my head I just think it was probably something like Yeah, kill. That's what I've been thinking too though. I ain't gonna hold they die like they on that shit. Yeah, it was just something. Else. They on that shit, trying, trying, trying to force that on it. And it's crazy, I read something, this is like, if everybody wear a mask for two weeks, the coronavirus gonna be gone. I, I was like, what the fuck? How's the mask? That's all that it is? Yeah. The mask? If that was the case, the curfews and shit would've worked, the hell that I would do? Oh, shit, bullshit. Fuck out of here. What about OnlyFans? What's your thoughts on that? Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> do your thing, boy. <laughs> Hey, look, you. Hey, I watch. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, green. They are watching. Do <laughs> your thing, good. Hey, bro. Man, that's your yeah. $20. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you want. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> like, look. You really funny, bro. Like, one morning I, I woke up right saying your shit. You said, what you say? <laughs> You had a rag over your eye, I told him I was man, they took my chain, they took the bag. I was him, man, he took my chain. <laughs> wow, nigga. I'm saying that. Yeah, yeah, man. How you, like, I feel like when listeners, supporters, fans, when they see that side of you, it's really hard to see, you know what I'm saying, what, what the hell would this nigga get locked for? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Do you think that, like, you gotta be one person one time, or? At a certain way, a certain time or what? Nah, it's just always in the nigga, so a nigga ain't never turning on to turn it off or yeah. acting this way or acting this way. Yeah. It's just like, it's how I am every day, like, like a God forbid, like any, anything, but a close, somebody c close could die to me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to come crack a drink in 20 minutes. I'm a bitch. I'm a laugh. I'm a. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, just yeah, me. Yeah, so, yeah, like, being me, carrying myself into a serious situation where I gotta handle some business or do some anything, yeah. like that's just me. Like, I'm, it's, it's nothing to it. Like, if, if, if that's who you are, you know, you know, switching it on and off or nah, you got that shit in you. That shit can go down at any moment. Yeah. Yeah. With a smile on my face, though. Like, yeah. really. Nah, I believe that. I know that. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Um, man, I was also going to say, how many fights have you had where you knock a <laughs> nigga out? Knock a nigga out? I ain't no cop a nigga. I can't sit right here and say I put a rock a nigga to sleep. Or we even put it out party. A lot of niggas ain't never put nobody to sleep, bro. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that shit ain't. It got to be a real type of. I have a very type of drum to knock a nigga out. I done dropped a lot of niggas. Yeah. I slept one nigga, but yeah. and then I probably I ain't he wasn't even looking. He was looking at my night. I just ran See up on him. Sleep. <laughs> but I ain't other than that I ain't been putting the right nigga to sleep and shit. I ain't Mike Tyson. Yeah. Hey you heard about that? They gonna have the, the Mike Tyson fight soon? Yeah, this shit burnt out. <laughs> Who you he, think nah, he, he fighting the nigga's age, so it ain't that much of a problem. If he was fighting like that nigga Brown Bomb, <laughs> he'd have got his ass knocked out. On cap. Is that they dead wrong for even stepping in the ring and start with? Nah, that shit gonna be cool, though. That's gonna be some cool shit. You gonna start saying, oh, NBA players and shit, start doing all crazy shit. Yeah. NBA and NFL players. Yeah. You gonna start some shit. Hell yeah. When the last time somebody had you fucked up? Hey, come! <laughs> this nigga at me. It's, it's always him, though. It's never nobody else. It's always him. Like, yeah. 
I was gonna be having me fucked up with nothing. He ain't broke. <laughs> so be your own man. I'm gonna be two two scenarios. I like cold bitch. Yeah. Nigga, we in the room, me and my brothers. <laughs> yeah. This nigga, it's nobody else in there. It's just me, him, and my <laughs> other bro. Yeah. yeah. So we cool and we on the we laying on the bed. So Kyle was writing this song and shit. So I said, hey, bro, record this. He record and I smack him with the pillow. Bow. Yeah. He get up, he smack the camera, he with the pillow, boom. <laughs> Ten minutes later we come out with he throws a bitch fit. <laughs> Nigga don't even hit me pillow like oh, I ain't like, I'm going like that. Yeah. Hold on, what? Oh, I'm like, come on, bro. What are you talking about? We do this shit all day. Yeah. We got videos of this nigga throwing Kool-Aid jugs of water will be in my sleep. I got a motherfucker with a thousand dollar outfit on. Yeah, 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 and he crying because I hit him in the pillow. <laughs> then he told him, nah, nigga. Bitch is right. <laughs> what? It was no female buys or nothing. Yeah. Nobody seen nothing. Yeah. Nobody knew why we was arguing or nothing. That was one time he had me fucked up. How recent was that? That was like four days ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's another time he had me fucked up. One morning, we it's five, six in the morning. We on the front porch. Yeah. We gambling. He hop out there, he like, nigga, you a nigga take my money. He real live, like, bad mouth of me, like, nigga, you sweet as shit on dice. I'm like, what? He said, nigga. So I, I drop down. So I lose 300, right? Yeah. 400. Yeah. I snatched 200. I'm like, let me say this. So he yeah. let me say it. Yeah. So he keep talking shit. Like, so you see what he doing now? <laughs> you see he talking shit? He kept talking shit. So I'm like, bro, you real loud playing me, bro? Yeah. I said, I'm about to take all your shit. I took all his money, right? <laughs> cracked him. He cracked him. Cracked him. Called him the baseball bat. Yeah. For like, hey, yeah. so the cool little racks. <laughs> I say, I saved them a rack, and like, yeah. like, I saved them a rack. And he was mad at me. And he had me <laughs> fucked up. And he cleaned them out. I smacked his head. I could be talking shit up. Respect. Look, you know what's so crazy? This is y'all guy and get. <laughs> Come right here, bro. Come right here, bro. Let me just tell y'all about this, man. I ain't gonna tell y'all too much, but this, this wild nigga. We was all again, you know how we just playing, we bored this shit, high as shit, one, you know what I mean? We cool, we gambling. I crack his sweet ass. He birdie. He birdie on dice. But this day, I crank him, boo bop, I gave him 75%. <laughs> Something we playing. I'm thinking we I'm thinking it's all a joke, right? <laughs> Boom. Next thing you know. We playing, we playing. Next thing you know, this nigga taking blues. I'm like, what the fuck? He cranking me for real. This nigga really is trying to crank me right now, right? So he probably up like 2500 quick. I ain't going to lie. He, pull, he catching me bird right now. So now it's too late to know that he really trying to crank me. So he cranked me and shit, we bop. I did a cry game. He had me fucked up. The fuck? I gave him a thousand dollars though. Bro. He gave me fucked up. I gave him a stack. It was all jokes and games. That's what I'm saying. He was really playing. And I, I was all like him, talking that shit. I don't want to take his money. That's all I'm gonna say. Here. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. He had me fucked up. So I'm gonna give him his ass more than a stack. Yeah. You came up. You won. That's way. You wouldn't have gave his ass shit, would it? Nah, well, I ain't gonna hold See? it. Then. You never crank me. I probably did. <laughs> <laughs> my mama is straight serious with you. I'm gonna crank you. That's what he asked me, though. I I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know it's dice and it's money. It's dice and it's money. Yeah. Hey, it's dice and it's money, taco. Crank your little taco right here. Nah, let go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, 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 
it's just any type of beat. Different beats. If I ain't never heard it before, I really like it. If it's some shit I heard before or some shit like I did before, I don't really fuck up. <clears throat> you think you could you think you could fuck up any beat when you uh when they preview on it? Yeah, I know I could do any any type of song. That shit be yeah, either. So you don't be going do you be going with any playing kind of song or everything you come up with is in the studio? No. Sometimes I be like like right now, like we all just chilling in here, I'll write a write a song. Yeah. But it's sometimes I be, it's some, if, if I hear a beat hard enough and I be like, alright, I can't get this my all my energy just because I'm writing. Yeah. I need to be in the studio vibe, but yeah. like, right, I'm gonna say it in beef when I go in there I'm just freestyle. How often you, you punch and compare to Compared to written shit. Probably like, for every three songs I write, I'm a freestyle too. Respect. So like three to ten. Respect. You feel like you're getting better as far as freestyling or writing? Both. Yeah. I think if I write it, you're going to feel where I'm coming from. If I freestyle, we're going to bounce. Yeah. Yeah. Like if I freestyle, we we going to turn up. But if I really write you a song, Yeah, respect. What's the what's the difference between a street nigga and a rap nigga? Me? Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I just said like uh it's a real street nigga who won't get the rap clout and move like a street nigga in the rap You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A rap nigga is gonna get a rap clout and start trying to be a street, street nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't do so, it. So, so like, you know when the nigga on man time and real street time, yeah. but not trying to be there because he on some rap shit. You know what I'm saying? But you know when the nigga we, perpetrating we, and trying to say we done seen niggas get the street clout yeah. on some through killing and through. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's not what it's for. Yeah. We we want some real nigga shit, so we just want to take like unfortunate situations that happened in the past and yeah. did that. Like that's what we did, but we ain't doing that no more. We trying yeah. to be millionaires. Yeah. These niggas is trying to kill their way to the top and cap their way to the top and fake rob their way to the top. Man. Yeah. You wasn't no robber five, ten years ago. Yeah. Why the fuck you trying to rob, man? It's 2020, nigga, go kill your ass, bro. Yeah, for real. That's the difference between a rap nigga and a shoot nigga for sure. Any niggas you plan to work with in the future? Like who? Man, I don't know. We seen, look, we seen from the start of when you started rapping, right? With what? Jose, Savage, Low, Karma. Uh, I don't be really impressed to work with niggas though. Like my favorite rapper right now, that little baby. Yeah. But other than that, I don't, even, I don't be. I don't listen to me, too many niggas. I give you some little caps, some little Rallo Rodriguez. And I ain't even saying I really necessarily want to work with them. It's just like, when I'm in my situation, I want to turn on the songs and the niggas I, I go to. Yeah. Yeah. Money bag got this shit. Like, when I listen to Money Bag when I'm in my bag and, and I'm just feeling myself super good. We turn that shit on. Oh, yeah. oh, it gets you. Yeah. yeah. They start playing me out. Smack shit out. You turn on that little baby on you know, in the trap with yeah. the dirty clothes on we got yeah. the bag. You you turn on that Rado or something when we you ever you yeah. lose a homie or some shit, that nigga gets you you have yeah, different you know, moves, different I don't be really trying to work it too many people I be trying to really perfect my craft, like, do what I do when you mix shit, you be trying to sound like niggas and shit like that as a Yeah. Last but not least, what's the what we can we expect in the rest of 2020? Big boy cars, big rollies and shit like that. Yeah. A lot of everything. Times 25. Like you see, two years ago and then now we had like it's my dreams really turning to reality. Really about to happen. Yeah. That's all for now. Peace out, Girl Scout. Sweet dreams, Donna James. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga burnt up. <laughs>